So what you saw here today was a five minute competition. Me using the lifters. And again, as you noticed, the pallet had layers of mesh between it. And again, that's the argument. Guys say, oh, the lifters don't work with a mesh. So what I did, I wanted to prove that it is more efficient. I hauled 80 pavers. Simon by hand hauled 57. So that's a 40% increase. And again, that's just over a five minute period of time. Take that by an hour, by an eight hour day, by a week, by a month, by a year. You can't imagine the savings, let alone the ergonomics of carrying things the right way. Let us help you take the heart out of hardscaping. So what I want to explain here, I'm at the pallet, and you'll notice a couple things different here. What I've done is I've actually taken these pavers off, I've taken the mesh out, and I flipped the mesh back. So again, some manufacturers have the mesh between the layers. Some use different forms of sand or different things to protect the paver. If that's the case, and you do have stacked pavers with no mesh, that's where these really shine. Years ago when we first invented these, that was the case. There was no mesh ever thought of being between the layers. This has a loading handle and obviously has the picking handle here, sorry. Picking handle, loading handle. So what I do is one in each hand, and these are set for five pavers. So I go down to my five, and you can see, got a nice tight little bevel here. I come up and I get that bevel underneath. And what, I'm, what you're gonna see is I do a quick up motion and I throw the bottom underneath. I kinda do a twist in motion like that. And this is what it looks like. Again, coming up into it, up and in, up and in. I want to take a minute just to show you a couple of the tricks using the lifters. Say I'm laying this paver patio and all of a sudden I end up with stacks left behind and my installer's up here. So to forward the pavers, I'm not bending all the way down and again grabbing those pavers again. Using the lifters, all I'm going to do is put a little pressure on it and again engages right away. A little pressure, I can move my pavers back up to get out of them. Again, using your knees, I'm not way down here, I'm way up here. To get out of them, either a rocking motion like that, again, that's to engage it, that's to get out of it. You also can, once you, once you set your pavers, you can reverse your hand and just do a 180 degree twist. So just a few tricks and tips that's gonna keep you from damaging your back way down low. <laughs>